lot lies on them early in sort of mid to late game two. Uh, for a secret, it's definitely Bad Rider, and now I'm kind of choking on OG heroes. Uh, Pango, Pango BZ, Pango BZ. Yeah, okay. Of course, the Pango. All right, all right, Pango, Bat Rider. That's where our eyes gonna be as we're looking at game three with B Cup and Lucas. Just be free and do whatever you want. Get off my lawn. Thank you very much. And yeah, sending it over. Not sure you guys caught that. Literally slide literally in the game. But it's, uh, just be free and do whatever you want. Will they be free and do whatever they want in this game? And so, which team is that going to be? I think the draft. I'm kind of leaning more towards OG's draft because I do think that they can hit an earlier timing. Something that did happen in the previous game. I feel like their lanes are really strong. Also, Disruptor, great against... A lot of these heroes against Void Spirit, you have lockdown, long range cast. I get the cancelled Fiend's Grip, which is going to be very annoying, but they do have another ability that goes through BKB. That's going to be Lasso, last pick Batrider. I want to see how much Uragi is going to be able to get. Also, on side of Secret, they do have four universal heroes, so that could be a big benefit from them. I mean, Bane, not the hero that benefits the most from stats. He always was, like, not always. Bane was a hero that most of the time, since he existed in Dota, the had the same stats per level, game to level. So, I mean, pick it up. Might just be in trouble. Wing break still in the river and he's gonna First die here to Armel. Now to finish how it began. And we've seen Void Spirits start off strong. I, I don't know if uh, you want to be giving up first, bud. That's a bit of a rough one. There's a different heroes you want to give it to. Sticky Bomb did miss in the end. They still managed to get the kill. And this is a kind of a new tech build on Bat Rider where you don't use Sticky Bomb because you do have damage from stats. So slightly more damage in the laning stage. So instead you go for the Flame Break, use it, maybe cancel some of the CS, try to deny them when they get close. The reason why I like OG Strat more is I'm a little bit biased. Mango plus Keeper of the Light combo. It's so good. It's been good. It's something that Gaming Gladiator right. has been abusing for a very long time. A lot of damage. Sorry to interrupt. They went in aggressively with the Flame Break and the Sticky Bomb, but Chu just goes glimpse into a Storm Hammer and it's damage right back the way of the bat. A lot of aggression in this. Your anger is useless here. At least for now. <laughs> now, Chu standing pretty far forward again. A flame break, a sticky bomb, but a storm hammer. Trying to stop the aggression coming in from Secret, and Boom's gonna get a kill on Chu. Chu is way too close to it. One flame break, sticky bomb, and as soon as it latches, plus blood grenade on top of it, there's way too much slow. In terms of trade, Rocky is getting some solo XP, getting the levels, which means on Sven it's very important. Heroes like Terrorblade, they do this one. They blasted him away, didn't catch this one. Oh, oh my god. Outplayed <laughs> that so hard. That was just embarrassing. Like, not mental damage. God damn. <laughs> yeah, a little emotional Ooh. damage right there. Some ankles broken. Those are going to need six to eight weeks to heal. Oh, my God. <laughs> Blast off. Yuragi on the run. Under the tower. Uh, just escape, but, you know, all he's got right now is the storm hammer. Doesn't even have enough mana for it. Yeah. Use it. He Saving a point. Bottom lane not working out too well for OG. They have another blast off. They yeah. could try to get a kill on Yuragi. Yuragi also starting with Boots of Speed as his first item. Alatreds might need to bring some extra region to this lane because they're really low on it. Denied. His life very difficult. We're taking a look now for Ramis and no surprise going for these stacks. Stacks, so we, we've talked about this a couple times coming into the start of this tour. Stacks and key runes, the changes, making it feel much better for support. And the, we, we've talked about how just important the X are. I don't know if we need to really reiterate the point, but we need to get at least one of them. 
getting the stacks going, especially when your Sven is not having a good time in the main stage. It's kind of a must-have. Mid lane, Armel, because he got that first blood, he got the better than Fango, picked up Bracer attack. immediately, then went for a bottle. And that, that was going to be one of my questions, but we blast off, bottom lane, Firefly, burning them up, trying to get to Chew. Oh, he really over. has many places to run at the moment, trying to juke through, but will eventually get you killed get. off by Boom. I do want to talk about this min matchup because Armel obviously gets first blood, but how is the matchup head to head normally? I think this is relatively even. Like, Mango does struggle against some of the other spirit carries, spirits more. I would still give it, like, flight off her hand to Void Spirit, but against Storm Spirit, against Ember, Mango does struggle a lot. We can see some of the CS differences. Well, Armel, he's. Level 5 against level 4 on BCM, so with 3 points of resonant pulse, he's gonna start to play much more aggressive. See it there, 8th remnant. This one was always. Would assume come level 6, Armel is probably gonna move around, and I think both of these side lanes have ways to be aggressive. Useless. Stun. No. A little bit of bursting damage coming through. Again, they just wanna go under the tower, they wanna go for Chu, and. That's exactly what they're going to do, but the Blitz pushes them a little bit further away. He still looks like they have the damage to get the kill here onto the Disruptor and do, and it puts Boom on a killing spree five minutes into the game. Disruptor. Level three, five minutes into the game, sitting at three deaths, and now they're starting to make a play on Yoragi. A bit low on mana, however. You know, it's not the same. Here comes Poppy's game. The aggression is pretty good. Puppy getting hit by this tower. They've got the Illuminate, but Yuragi's still getting run down. Puppy will die to the tower and around. Oh, Yuragi, that's a trade they'll make any day of the week. And boom! Yes. He's gonna drop the ball. Radiant's oh, gonna take it down. But with the urn, he'll still die. <laughs> that first kill on Puppy. Maybe Puppy could have survived, had a healing Lotus, 125 HP. Not sure if it make that. A lot of a difference, but also giving an earn charge to Mad Rider. Glimpse back on Puppy. Oh, he gave him back. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> I was right there for a second. I saw if him he, get Glimpse. If you get Glimpse back with a bottle, you get the chance to keep it. Well, don't... Don't tell supports that. They'll, they'll keep it. If you're not a chance, they'll keep it. Yeah. That was really close, but, you know, still 5-2, still a thousand net worth lead here for Secret. And it feels like all three games have started with teams that have ultra aggressive in the first part. And Stormhammer comes through in the damage. You throw that stun and you're going to land, but you can't really get a kill just yet as Chu's going to be dying here over mid to Armel. So Armel is getting himself a kill. He's working with that shield rune. You're trying to be aggressive on Instead, you're losing heroes else. Armel, level seven. Bango's level five. I mean, he's about to be level six. But still, big difference in that solo kill. Holding off the shield room. He can't take the play. I, I don't know why it's 50% of your max HP. Uh, no. Oh, no way. He still gets denied by the neutral creep. Blinding light still gets denied by them. It's a lot of time kind of wasted for Moji to try to get a kill on up. They brought four heroes to do that. To lose him to a neutral creep. That feels pretty bad. It feels all right, though, is both teams get themselves at Radiant's least one wisdom room. Puppy's about to have himself. So you've got Boom, who's farming really well. And uh, it, it certainly opened up a lot of space for Chrysalis, which is the exact opposite of what happened in game number two. He never really had space. He was dying the entire time. Team Secret knows they have Alchemist in the team. Doesn't contribute much early on, but once you get him to two, three, four items, he's going to be the one. Like two items, he's going to be joining with the rest of the team, so it's very important that they now play together. Dyer's top tower Make them busy, so there's attack. not going to be rotation. Radiant's middle tower is under, under attack. Game over, trying for the wrong bucket. Now, after that first step, the Illuminate hits a few low. Not dead just yet, but with that earn and a right click, well, at least get straight. Uh, the ZM, though, his Rolling Thunder is going to be running out. They go to the Doom, it's on to Armel. 
keeps running and trying to get out. But there's nowhere for him to go with all these heroes here from the side of OG. So they do finally shut down this Void Spirit for the first time. And, uh, it does force a lot of heroes to come over and give space elsewhere, but it, it's still a good kill to get. These are top of the kills that they need to get, especially on BZ. He got the last Dyer's hit. Middle tower is under attack. So that means that... Because he got... <laughs> And in the laning stage, he was thinking about getting mana boots on the door. You have Keeper of the Light Girl playing from behind to one more time. Yeah, I don't think he gets out of this. They've got the kinetic field. He's burning up. Just need one more right click, and there it is. Radiance Middle get that kill. He is still continuing to roll. He's 5 1 1. That situation is. Only level four right now. Arabis having a blast of a game. One keeper of the light. In terms of Laxis, he has only nine CS. He's under been attack. heavily involved. He has every single kill. Oh jeez. We'll have the third vessel. Lead it. DM. Now to gold. DM. Gun blast off and a kill for Crystal. Radiance bottom. Are you talking about Aramis? He, he had that early earn to be involved quite a bit and made that rotation bottom, which helped him. Ends up taking the fairy trinket too. Your anger is useless here. I'm a little worried though, because Chrysalis hasn't been touched in this night. I'm a little concerned that this Alk is off to too good of a start. Yeah, he has way too much Small camps constantly will have Radiance finished in a minute or so. He's got the Secret Relic flying out to him already, and uh, <laughs> it, it's coming up there, so. And the radiant soon to work. The puppy that got the glimpse and now some damage with the blast off. The luminary comes through. Dealing with the rolling thunder, they'll get the goodie at it. They'll take up the tech keys. Can they get more at this one? Last cell. And, and I that boom. They can chase him down. Boom. The tower no flame break difficult. available. It always feels weird to see that fighter with tank art in this meta. It's like, doesn't fit hero. I mean, you do keep it for a brief moment. You could disassemble it, go into Octarine, or disassemble your game boot and have three components. Or six. Dyer's bottom is under attack. It just feels awkward to have it. Warming up here. Start to this game. All three cores, pretty much. Most importantly, Crystalis. Radiance this is Radiance. Tower is under Only attack. needs 100 gold. Less than 100, actually. And then he's pretty much off the Radiance races, right? Bottom tower has fallen. Now the real farming start. Yeah. Look at how split they are. Alchemist on one side of the map. Rest of Secret playing bottom part. Easy stack. I think they understood that the BZM is having a really rough time and they want to get him back into the game. This is very important. So, they get both of those CS. Shoot again. He's going to die. And Ramus with that kill. This Void Spirit, as every Void Spirit game seems to go, kind of gets out of control. I really want to make sure that this is Void Spirit being slowed down as much as possible. And even with the two deaths, we see the Void Spirit being uh, just a, a really sharp thorn in the side of OG. It's almost pain is taking the attention towards Void Spirit when maybe they need to start thinking about going after Crystalis. Raga was picking it out. Got him scared. There for a second, Octarine Core, 12 minutes into the game on Batrider, 7,000 net worth. These are some insane numbers coming out from Boom at the moment. Arabis is playing. Alchemist, same thing. Oh, pretty much, yeah. I mean, Alchemist is going out right now. But Arabis, he's been holding them for the first 12 minutes of the game, not allowing this network to skyrocket. Really nice blinding lights back into Boom. Boom and DM playing extremely well today. Trying to make a move on Doom, but it's not enough. He's alone. Throws a random concoction. He's looking what? Radiance, Phase Boots, Blink, BKB. And not that he's going to have it instantly, but with the space that he's been given, it can probably get to him pretty quickly. These outer rings are very difficult to engage into. If you go to, like, 
different side of the map and don't find Dyer's anything, you're gonna waste so attack. much time, especially if you don't find Alchemist. Because in two minutes, he farms Radiant so much. Right now, there's smoked up. Try to farm, find the Alchemist, but can't. In the wrong camp. Mr. List is already on a different side of the map. Seems like he's having a Radiant's really good read where he needs to be. Attack. And it's a little bit tough to get Take him in that top outer ring too, right? It's the Mighty Mines. You're getting four more HP per second when you're up there. That plus going into Dyer's his ult and having that bonus health attack. regen and that movement speed. It's not an easy kill to get. Spirit Vessel will help out tremendously against him. Needs to farm another 300 gold. UZM did finish off his defusal blade. Aqua Magic maxed out. They're ready to take a fight right now on OG. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Thinking about going in, but Radiant's go to the Rolling Thunder. Now they attack. catch themselves. Pangalier with the eighth around. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, by the way, Dyer's he's level top six. Tower is under Thought attack. about going in. Then saw Bane, not a hero we see too often. He was sitting in a overall DPC regions in a good spot. He's won three out of four games. It's not as big as much. But having something to stop the Rolling Thunder with, it's always going to be good. So that Doom also has attack. been available for quite some time. Boots is probably about to be finished. He can be playing the bottom part of the map and join where Restless is. Boots travel, like you said. EKB's next on the uh, list of grocery. Finders, so kind of shipping. Dyer's top tower is, be is under attack. Two minute or five minute. Ruthless is now moved to the other side. Dyer's top tower is falling. Just continuing to farm here, and really not getting touched at all. And they're gonna look they over. They've got the fiend's grip on BZM. Oh. Get a kill here out of the Pangalier, who BZM and the rest of OG have tried to be aggressive a couple times. They just haven't found openings. It's like they wanted to take some of these earlier fights, but keeping the network in secret favor for the last couple of minutes, keeping it steady between 1 and 2k, which is not too bad considering the stuff that they had in the banning stage. I guess Doom with Max Devour and the Midas. Nice play there, but <laughs> that would have been sick if he's able to blast off on the cliff. Into glimpse, we'll guarantee them a go. They at least get that, and you kind of feel OG chomping in the bit to try and get something. Regeneration! Movement, and out of the movements they're getting, the more they move, and the more and the, and the less they get, the more secret get out of the map. Of course, <laughs> Alchemist having the spark of courage. No surprise. Overall, such a good farming tool for most of carries, mid laners, even some off laners. Works out nice. I think the item in these mines causing a lot of troubles. As spirit vessel to throw onto, these spirit vessel charges Dyer's are very valuable against attack. Alchemist. He's got two more right Fights don't go the way that they. You can always die, and now it does replenish it itself. Dyer's middle tower. That's one, that's one way to get a charge. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is one way, but he's 3 0 4. You gotta keep the unkillable streak. Boom. Um, like you were talking about, EKB. This game's kind of slowed down a little bit, but that's also kind of looking like that because DM's gotten a lot of too. It's Midas, now he's got Guardian Greaves, Vanguard going into the pipe. He's himself about 1300 gold away from that, so that should be shipping out relatively soonish. Are, are Secret okay to be the ones who kind of sit back and farm? I know you want to do that with this Alchemist and think Radiance and you're going into the BKB. Oh yeah, they but really not a rush. Up? for yeah. anything at the moment. Might want to get another round of items and then smoke up, look for a kill. These two items we're talking about, mostly the big one is Alchemist with a BKB. If they want to sync it up, wait for a BKB on Batrider plus a Manta style. That's got a look like, because OG, whenever you feel, whenever you play against 
Alchemist, these type of lineups, you feel like they're losing out anti-mage as well. You want to be the one keeping the pressure because carry the carry matchup is not that great. Then, not a hero that builds into MKB by any means. Ports might get Heaven's Halberd as well, which gonna cut out Sven's damage output as well. While Alchemist still does damage, even if he gets disarmed, acid spray with Radiance, while Sven can't really do it. Game we go. Corrosive weaponry, he had gone 4 4. <laughs> Have that extra hurt with the corrosive weaponry. Stacks going from 9 to 11 when he goes to the max level. He's kind of an awkward ability, to be honest. But sure, he has a new new old ability. He was created now for passive. Radiant get it for free. Corrosive weaponry is good when you lock onto a target, but you, you'd never like hear anyone talk about, oh yeah, corrosive weaponry, that's it, that's good stuff. I think when it first got announced, it to be stronger than it was. I'm not saying it's, it's not like strong, that. it's just... It's not the... where your eye goes. Yeah, pretty much. Boom, trying to really get around this. And actually, he's losing a fight. Both of eyes are in the center. He gets up, he's gonna die immediately. He's gonna kill it a boom, and that's two kills that are massive here for OG. Void Spirit now on the run. His DM's ready with Doom. And these heroes just need to get out of dodge for, for Secret. It is... Fight for OG. Good static on plus glimpse coming out from Chu, even though he's zero at seven. Still making the big plays, and now Dyer's game is pretty top even. Top even though there's an alchemist in the enemy team, Radiant's he's going to finish off. He's BKB. I think it's time to go. Try to smoke up now and try to beat it when Batrider is out. Try to take one fight before Sven gets his BKB. He's just a recipe away, less than a recipe. Together because it's been farming mine for 19 minutes inside the scene. They're 0 2, so win here gets them in the win column overall. Look at you, Uncle. It can have a, a lot of meaning coming down the wire of this DPC. Are moving together, but there is no smoke available inside of Secret. Secret's going to have it, or now also doesn't have it since like they used most of those personals early on, too. Well, someone was there for a brief moment. Oh, for a second, our milk starts. He's got that BKB recipe flying out, so you're not going to hit that timing where you want to fight before he's got that BKB. And things all of a sudden, they feel a lot tougher for Secret. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Alchemist is the Radiant's one who has a lot of harm. You can see Batrider has fallen off. Same goes for Void Spirit. Armel was off to such a good start. Now attack. the lowest network four. You need to keep fighting with this hero. In terms of farming, how fast he farms, there are definitely better heroes. But you want to be active, and now we see win probability being in OG's favor. 60-40. Even giving them a little bit of a blessing. Is this a game where you're hoping if you take Tormentor, you get the shard? For uh, techies, you got the alchemist going in, or Bat Rider, you throw the reactive taser on them. Bane shard is not the greatest. It's like AoE. Some of these shards, I'd say Skyrath Mage, Bane, it doesn't fit what the heroes actually need. The world is Crystalis will go for Tormentor. Let's see who decides to pick up. Like he decides, whoever Gaben decides to give the shard to. We'll be techies, so now you're gonna have that reactive Dyer's taser being available to put on attack. I think we can get on some of these heroes, it could be pretty strong. Puppy got it. Brain sap becomes AoE ability. He has one point in brain sap. <laughs> Such a waste. In 
Visibility. Thirty uh, percent. Pure damage, by the way. Yeah. Boom. Talking about him wanting to get the KB for quite a while, and now the both teams are gonna smoke. Have Roche towards Radiant bottom, and maybe they want to go scanning. for it. But all of a sudden, OG, they kind of change their trajectory in terms of going towards the bottom map. Half around to go back. Fan and Chu's gonna be run down with the rest of OG leaving. Two kills there for Secret. This is kind of happening near Roche, but I'm not sure Secret are really looking at that. This was a fight where BZM was top, so he did not want to join. And immediate lasso plus Fiend abilities. We'll get a kill of friend. He didn't even pop a BKB, he popped a God Strength and got lassoed immediately. OG probably thinking about contesting this one. This Roshan, it quick. it's very slow. And also, our Mel keeps getting bashed. Down to half HP. OG, they do have outposts to keep you to the one that cannot be taken over. Giants top top. Running in trouble. The kinetic field down. They're going to have to spin through that game, but he doesn't have God Strength. Now they go to the lasso, and Doom is used, but still they have the control. It's not going to matter, though. Puppy gets killed off next to the Twin Gate. They got the Rolling Thunder, and they're landing on the Amic. So both supports gone to the side of Secret. And the Storm Hammer, the right clicks. Not enough damage to kill off Armel. The Astral Step and a second one to TP out. And Roche, it was a bold choice for Secret to try and go for it. Now they've left it at half health for the side of OG. Roshan is very strong nowadays. Uh, feels like still need to figure out when the, if, if this was previous Roche, 3733, Roshan dies. Roshan now, to the ring. OG's gotta be the one holding on to it, and BZM in the last fight showing off his newly purchased Aghanim Scepter. Uh, that's a big one, some like, random damage thrown on the ground. You'll have Doom running in. They also managed to save Doom. Because DM, he's all about these points. We don't talk too much about it because Dyer's it's not as tight as fuck. But under to it. Marty Dream's Crimson Pipe, like he's building every single aura that there is in the game. Definitely. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Aura guys. Dyer's structures are fortified. Also, obviously, a four in that type of You're trying to boost your teammates up with all these auras. Sure, they survive. You're, you're the silent hero. Pretty much. He's also Dyer's not wearing a cape. Has or is he? Those are wings. All capes are still. No, you, you don't. Not, if you were really a superhero or you're trying to fight with a cape, it, it Dyer's top way. tower is under attack. Have you watch Radiant's The Incredibles? Middle no tower capes. Is under attack. Yeah, I don't remember the particular fight scene, but yeah. Incredibles Radiant's one, bottom tower is under really attack. Really good movie. Incredible two. Ah, they're okay. It's a good movie. Seven out of ten, but enough about the movies. I don't need to be off mine, so I can set up. Step, he's the remnant and the control. Static storm from Chudo, and on the other side, they've got Puppy. He's gonna come to the main. BZM's gonna die with the Astro Step coming in from RML. There's the last shot at BM, and you're obviously trying to fight this with BKB. The tactics, though, it still feel like it's not the attention now on to RML with Doom being placed off the Void Spirit. They'll get the kill on a second. Boom, run down, captured, and killed. As Aramis gets that one. And they've got three heroes dead on the side of Secret with Crystals trying to leave. Radiant off that Radiance stand. and jukes into the trees and will be able to TP out successful. Zanny's going ham in the fight. Like this is his, I don't think peak timing, but this is where he's really strong at. Especially while he's holding on to Aegis. They can't focus him down. Two fights before they see in Secret, lassoing, Fiend's grip on Sven. It's a lot of their damage taken out, but this time around, because he's holding on to Aegis, can't really do that. Still managed to kill BZM. The backlines, 
And I think OG understands that they don't necessarily need to kill these two cores immediately off while they have BKBs on. They can focus the others, and Doom this time around, compared to Game 1, is fighting some really good Doom openings. Holding on to it in a lot of situations as well. Waiting for Void Spirit to get into his face, because they can't burst it. Like, his Doom just doesn't die. They can't bring it down from 100 to 0. Tanky and going to have that octarine core in just 70 gold. Secret, by the way, they're coming over, but I don't know if they know Die. what they're getting into. Aether Remnant's not going to catch Yuragi. They do have some help deeper in the lane for OG, so going after this, if you put yourself out too far like that, you might be in trouble. Almost the ages. Nothing really doing there. All oh, moon. They have caught themselves a bane, and they will show it on the mantel oh, shelf as they kill off Puffy. I'm still gonna look. Continue both. Got the EZM on the back lines with the Rolling Thunder, and now the BKB popped by Crystalis. The side of Secret are retreating, and so is OG. But they're really full on health. The only one who's really lacking a little bit of health is Yuragi. But he's being healed up thanks to that spirit. Yuragi was thinking about going in. Quick fingers there from Armel. Kind of an awkward fight, but they drag in Sven, who's still holding the Aegis. I can understand, like, what they're trying to do. It's very hard to do it, where they just try to separate the fight. And OG is already extra. planted for the server wards. They see the whole lane for the match. So in terms of taking the fight near this tier 2 tower, they have really good vision. Radiant's top tower is under attack. What's the game plan here for Secret? Like, they try to fight, but... Radiant's top tower it, it, it is under attack. The map is shrinking, so they can't exactly farm their way back into the, the, the game too well. Boom's game has slowed down, so is Armel's, so immense. And Radiant's top tower OG. is under attack. These guys are working with an Aegis, and Stroke might be aggressive, but Secret don't seem to be able to fight and put out the damage. We were just talking about how DM feels unkillable. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Off screen for now, finished. Having some status boost from Titan Sliver. Magic resistance as well. Really difficult to bring him down. And not the usual smoke you see from a team. Their Aegis expires. They smoke up and look for a fight. Down bottom. Radiant's top tower is under attack. It's being pinged out, but they want to make something done. This is kind of a move that you don't expect from a thief team secret. Things that this might happen healing themselves and maybe knowing that secret know the timing of the Aegis so they're gonna go out when they know that they aren't looking to fight with the Aegis fire oh, they were looking radiant are fine. scanning Dyer's middle tower is under attack or mentor is available nothing short now have recall available Look at them peeping bottom instantly. Two heroes to outpost, one to second outpost. They want to catch Boom off guard. Shadowblade on your Rocky. He knows where Pat Rider is. He needs to chase him down. Stormhammer, Heart Boom, God Strength, BKB, and a lasso attempt to try and survive. Nobody's coming from Secret, so he is left for dead. And that was such a nice player there from OG. He did not want to let second. it go. Off three and four. We'll get him some levels closer to level 20. That minus 35 seconds of doom pull down is a pretty big one. So getting there doesn't really matter too much. We'll be available again Dyer's in a minute. And Hop can also use ulti, so OG's not taking a full team fight anyway. Now to the top lane, getting recalled. Yuragi still holding on to something. I love this Shadow Blade pickup where he can surprise. Cut into back lines. Find Ender Yamich. Puppy. Puppy is the one who bought back in the previous fight. Their static storms drop, but they glimpse him. They make it very hard for them to hold that range. I give the BKB the damage on our mail. They'll take the void spirit. These heroes on secret need to leave. They're kind of used up for the and our hip it comes out. They go to the harpoon, they catch themselves puppy <laughs> again. Been killed once more and come off the stuff them up, put them again on the shelf once more. 
They... It feels like they need to use Glimmer Cape, because there is one on Techies. These Fiends Grift are not lasting long enough. But I like this Disruptive Pick overall, because in the... Dyer's they middle revealed is under Void attack. Spirit, and then they also picked Bane, so Disruptor was kind of a natural choice for them. Long distance, think to cancel the Fiend's Grip, and also have a little bit more control for Void Spirit, gives them more defense as well. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Grab this Tormentor. <laughs> One of the reasons why Alchemist is struggling to deal the damage in some of these fights is this is out there is out of 5 armor, minus 6 coming up from Acid Spray. Sven's level 20 talent is plus 10 gold Dyer's fight bottom armor. Tower is under attack. Plus 10. This is like 25 bonus armor that he has for his teammates on top of all these Dyer's auras, Crimson Guard. Has so, fallen. I think damage coming up from the Alchemist has been really low in the last 15 minutes, I would even say. Oh, Chris was able to do. He was off to a very good start, but OG were confident that they would be able to beat it if given enough time, and that's exactly what they've done. When Dyer's top net worth zero doesn't attack. feel like he's scratching the surface with his damage, and, and that your next hero is so far behind, you gotta start to be worried, right? Yeah, who's gonna deal the damage? That's the problem. It's pretty similar to what happened with Team Secret when they played against Team Liquid. Crystalis was playing Terrorblade. It was also the hero that didn't die until the game pretty much ended, died once, game was over. It was like similar thing could happen in this one. Right now, he's sitting at zero deaths. Which means that he's also not committing heavily to a fight. The issue is a person. Uh, losses, right? Like Crystalis, heroes that he does well with in lane, but never really finds the confidence to play aggressive enough to win the game. I would say when things are not going well, for him, they are going well in terms of network, but the rest of the team not doing too hot, he does struggle to find, Radiance like, lock on to target, kill it, feels like he's... Slightly more scared than other carries, I would say. But if he's the one who's controlling the fight, he's the one who's engaging, then in these moments he does shine. Now off to second Roche. OG. He was like in Radiant secret thinking scan. about maybe going through the gates. Radiant are using the scan. They know exactly where they could come from. So it's going to be another Aegis Radiance here for your rock. is under attack. They have not really been able to get decisive fights for themselves on Secret. It feels like they managed to kill a core in the last 10 minutes once on side of Secret. No core mentor available. <laughs> it's similar to what happened to Team Secret in some of the games that they lost, where they have network advantage and they can't capitalize on it. You, you never really like hot too massive one or two thousand. They just didn't make moves to exacerbate. So, so you're trying to get a kill here onto a span to be able to work with, and there's the static storm put down on the main to stop that from script. The damage they want to hero Huggy, they finally get the kill to use the doom of the alchemist. He's going to look at the stuff in secret, so you can continue to make it work. Your Huggy comes over with CCM, they get the kill on the Puppy, they'll go over a Hoover, get the kill on the damage, and take a second with the buyback coming up from Puppy. So boom, now on the run, there's the glimpse back, the Thunder Strike on, and the damage can be enough to take him out as well. Stop buyback, they'll lose it too, so two buyback use for the team. Secret lineup. Pushing him away, Yuragi now turning back towards the fight. He'll lead the chain full the health, full mana, and Puffy getting to be run down here by Ulti Zan as well as Ian. Ian's are running straight.
strong. OG not losing anything in this fight. The attention is now on Armel as he's being disarmed. Chrysalis comes over to try and help him out. Let's yeah, fight there. for a second. Swash yeah, that little blast off. BZM gone for 80. DM next on the list. It's super good. Anything going on. Another lasso in a second. Throw the stun, but they've got the big baby coming through on a DM. So he's able to sit behind and knock the stun up. They'll climb back on the BZM. They'll go after Boom. And they've got the super gun. So it will be eliminated. They'll get the kill of Boom. They'll take the map rider as Hiragi's back into the fight. Shooting the damage on the Yami. Yami throws a sticky bomb. The stun gets bounced back with the Lotus Sword. They have another stun through here. I'm getting low. The no fire is on him. Optimus up again as Armel falls. Yoragi surviving, going after Yam, and he gets a board, and that is going to be four dead on Cypher. And he's throughout the entire fight. They fought back, I'm sure they fought back from BZM. These are some crazy fights happening. And think they could try they try to go for this same play that they tried to go near the Tier 2 Tower bottom. And they don't get it. I can understand what's going on.